Jordan and I are back. Look who's awake. Finally came to say hello by himself. I didn't even have to make him. But now he's like, okay, that's enough. That's enough, Mom. Oh my God, you guys. Seducing you. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Do you hear the noises this angel just made? How is it possible to be a bigger cat lady than me? I don't think it's possible. Because he is such a cutie. He's my little baby. My little, come give me a hug. Yes, 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 yes. Look at his little butt. He's so gentle. He lets me do anything. Anyway, sorry for that little uh, lover's uh, moment we had. Today, we are going to continue the wonderful story that is a hitman's baby because it is a great story and I like it so far. And I want to see what our guy Bates' answer is going to be on the job. You know, like, is he going to take the job? Is he going to not? Is he going to be like, oh, you want me to kill Jorah? Or is he going to be like, oh, two, um, 10 million. Okay, well, let's do this. Clean hard cash. So yeah, in case you guys don't know what Hidman's Baby is about, it's about a fabulous young 23 year old woman who just recently got divorced from her cheating billionaire husband. And she had a one night wild stand with a hitman, but she doesn't know that obviously. She doesn't know anything about him. She doesn't even know his name really. Um, And supposedly she gets pregnant. We don't know that yet because she did not get pregnant yet, but she is supposed to. So we shall see. Anyway, this is Hitman's Baby chapter three. This is Lord Brian to Instagram, my Instagram, our TikTok, give this video a like and let's go. Oh, and right, warning. There may be some mature content in this video and story. You want me to kill Jorah? Yeah. For $10 million. If you want more, we have more. Shut up. Um, yeah, that's not how you negotiate. But I'm desperate here and I have money. You would never have to work another day in your life. I'm not a begging man, but I will get on my knees if I have to. Wait, now you're, you're literally talking like, please like come to my funeral or please do me this favor. You're talking about killing your ex-wife. Like get that through your head, guys. Like kill Killing your ex-wife over money, over shares in a company. This is ridiculous. I'd pay to see that. Draw up the contract. He's a green. I work alone and I only accept payment via direct wire transfer. I want 15 million by the end of the week. If I so much hear a word of foul play, I will kill all of you. I won't think twice about it. And I most definitely will not lose any sleep over it. Do we have an understanding? I'm not paying you before it's done. You underestimate me. Just for that, it went up to 16 million. Oh, that's my man. He knows how to negotiate. This is unheard of. This is absurd. He's our best option. I don't wire transfer funds. It puts our motherboard at too high a risk for a breach. 17 million. You are deranged. I'm not the one paying someone to kill their ex-wife. 18 million. I could do this all day. Just agree to the darn terms, Mr. Carter. Fine. Ah, uh, so we have a deal. You will be paid once it's done. If you insist we work under your terms. The price is now at 20 million. Take it or leave it, Mr. Carter. We have a deal, 20 million. Perfect. I'll begin working tomorrow. Poor jerk. Wait, so is he actually going to try to kill us? Why tomorrow? Because I'm tired as hell and I need to rest. Rough night oh you don't even know oh you have no idea oh did he just he did so they know uh ah nice to see you up and about sleeping beauty i wish i was still sleeping i'll punch you i'm hardly alive i wish i was still sleeping so are you going to see your bad boy again yes i'll make sure of it i hope so i don't know i'm saying i hope so i really hope so you really like the guy don't you i hardly know him but he can really <coughs> Oh, well, did you get his number? I did. Well, you should text him. Maybe I will, but first coffee. What time is it? Just after three. Oh my God, I'm going to be late. Late for what? My lawyer called yesterday and left a message. They wanted to talk to me one last time about something. It sounded important. Well, go get ready and I'll make some fresh coffee. You really are the best, Christy. Oh, I know. <laughs> Um, they're gonna talk to her about her shares. I know it. The lawyer's like, I should get something for this divorce. I should just text him. No, I don't want to seem too pushy. New you, Jorah, remember. Okay. Good morning, stranger. You're aware it's three in the afternoon, right? Morning is long gone. Well, I just woke up, so therefore it's morning. There's so many things I'd like to do to that smart mouth of yours, dolphin girl. I think I'd like to find out. I'm free tonight after five and I'd really like to see you again. I'd like that too. What did you have in mind? Wait, is he doing that so he can actually like, you know, kill us? Like, really? Or is he actually flirting with us and he wants to see us again? Who knows? Meet me at the boat launch behind Ali's. I can't wait to see you again, Jorah. The feeling is mutual, mystery man. Okay, so she's legit seeing this 
let's say creep who refuses to give her his name or anything about himself like if anything happens to her no one's gonna know what happened and that is where the situation gets sticky now what do i wear today i can't wait to see him again sweet and sassy little romper to feel super confident in or a comfy but sassy outfit to make the ice pop oh both are adorable i'm gonna say sweet and sassy because that is what i am let's do this i love this one and i have a feeling my mystery man will too feeling spicy <gasps> shoot i really need to get going is that my lawyer all right, sweetie, first of all, congratulations, you're a free woman. I just wanted to go over everything you gained due to this divorce and make sure you're up to speed on everything. I think I understand everything we agreed upon. Oh, so you know you're now the second richest woman in the United States? Um, what? What are you talking about? There was a lapse in the paperwork that your ex-husband's lawyer missed. You now own half of CSS and are entitled to half of all its assets. Stunt, be stunned, faint, mind blown, your mind is Balloon. What? Sorry, I think I just hallucinated. This is insane. Does Vincent know? He was made aware last evening. Oh, that explains that weird proposal last night. Now, you know your ex-husband better than I do, but I don't trust him as far as I could throw him. And he's a pretty large man. What I'm trying to say is watch your back for a while. Be weary of new people entering your life. Are you saying you think I'm in danger? I'm saying don't expect him to sit quiet about this. He just lost over three billion dollars. Excuse me? Three billion dollars. I'll be here to help guide you through all your next steps, sweetie. I just want to make sure you stay safe and that's a lot of money a very powerful man just lost. So, you know, watch your back. Just like him to only care about the money he lost and not me. Now, what questions do you have for me? Uh, a lot. Later, my mind was spinning. Spinning. How could I own half of one of the world's largest data storage companies? How will this ever work? And oh God, Vincent. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> a little jumpy. You're very quiet. I didn't even hear you walk up. Hazards of the job. Ask him what he does for a living. Don't push it. I'm going to ask him again. So what do you do for a living? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. So something dangerous? Oh, very. I was right. You look stunning, by the way. Thank you. I asked you to meet me here because I wanted to take you out on my boat for the sunset. The dolphins like to play in the wake, and I know you like that sort of thing. Aw. So you mean you're going to, like, kill me and then throw me overboard? Yeah? That sounds amazing. I want one more night of fun before I begin a new assignment tomorrow what now so you are gonna kill us but not today and you're who i wanted to spend it with so what do you say watch the sunset on his boat it gets spicy okay i'd love to follow me skipper <laughs> Oh, that's a fast boat. This view is incredible. It's gorgeous. Mm. So what is it that you're dreading about this new assignment? Having to kill you? Wait, you're actually thinking about it. Have you ever not wanted to do something so badly, but you don't seem to have any other choice? I'm pretty sure you have a choice. You could have said no. That's exactly how I felt on my wedding day. <laughs> I don't blame you after meeting the guy. I just know what I agreed to is wrong. Then why don't you just not do it? Uh, cough. <coughs> There's a lot more to it than what meets the eye. Okay, I'm still confused. You can say no if you really like us. So that means he doesn't like us. But enough about work. I have a beautiful woman on my boat that I've been thinking indecent thoughts about all day. Floor back, get shy, stay quiet on my floor back. Care to elaborate on this indecent thoughts? You're one of a kind, Jora. The sun's about to set. Aww. I turn around and wrap my hands around the railing in front of me. So sweet. My hair danced around my face as a light salty breeze came off the vast ocean in front of us. You glow in this lighting. His hand was placed lightly on my waist and I let myself fall backwards into him. Like this. I turned my head slightly to look up at him and he looked back down at me with an unreadable expression. The kind that says, I'm going to kill you tomorrow, but let's hanky panky. Guilt? Sadness? Lust? I couldn't read him. Um, I feel like the guy's a masochist if he's willing to spend one night of romance with me and then want to kill me the next day, right? He gently moved my hair to the side and brought his lips softly to my neck. I let my head fall to the side as his lips moved down to my shoulder. Each feather-like kiss sent waves of excitement through my body. His hand moved to my stomach and his grip around me tightened. Romance. He spun me around to face him. And without another wasted moment, his lips were moving with mine. Come to bed with me. Tell me your name. Mm -hmm. Leonardo. But I go by Leo. Fine. Well, take me to bed, Leo. <laughs> Will do. As you wish. So here we are again. Here we are. I think I finally have you figured out, Leo. Oh, you think so? So you travel a lot, hate your job, and have tons of money. Who said I have tons of money? Uh, maybe this million dollar yacht? Duh. <laughs> Any other assumptions you have about me? Mm, nope. Oh, she's getting ready. Holy cannoli, look at her. That those indecent thoughts you were having earlier today are back? You may quite literally be the death of me, woman. <laughs>
I actually think it's really wrong of him to take advantage of her right now and then try to kill her. I'm sorry, just keep keeps coming back to me. Something has to change. Please take your mind off of whatever tomorrow brings that you're dreading so much. Spend the night with Leo snuggled tight all night. Um, let's spend the night. More chances to get preggers. You know, getting our life insurance back. You just crossed into dangerous territory, Jora. I like a little danger. I pulled my bottom lip into my mouth and looked up at him through my eyelashes. I watched as his pupils dilated and his jaw clenched. He wrapped his arms around me and pulled me down with him. I landed on top of him and bounced as he laughed beneath me. Cutie. He moved so fast. He spoke as he flipped me beneath him. You like danger, huh? I'll keep that in mind. His lips landed on mine and my arms immediately came down around his neck, deepening our kiss. My skin was on fire. Way go. Passion rippled through my veins as I lost myself in him. He was dangerous. He was more than dangerous. Because there was something about him that I couldn't place. Um... The hitman aspect. And the way he made me feel was terrifying in itself. Terrifying because this man already held enough power over me to hurt me. Oh no, boo. In more ways than one, you don't even know. Bad. This is so bad. But so, so good. <sighs> I wouldn't have guessed you were a snuggler. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me. Someone lied to me then. What do you want to know? Ask away, dolphin girl. How old are you? How old are you? 27. Do you have any more questions? Yes. Uh, family? I have a brother who I never see. My mom lives in New York State and my dad died a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. He was working on that dolphin safe software I keep talking about when he died. I feel like I owe it to him to finish it. Do you have any more questions? Yes. Pizza or Chinese? Hmm? Pizza, no contest. I'm more of a Chinese gal. Do you have any more questions? Yes. What do you do for a living? So what do you do for a living? I feel like this is a redundant question at this point. Nice try. Are you in the CIA or something? Nope. I was an officer with special forces for seven years though. Ah, again with the danger thing. <laughs> do you have any more questions? Yes. Are you happy? Are you happy? I feel like that's a loaded question. But right this second, yes, I'm happy. Aw. Do you have any more questions? Cats or dogs? Please say cats. Both. Yay! Dogs are loyal and cats are devilish creatures. No, they're not. They're sweet. Both qualities that I admire. Do you have any more questions? I'm done. Are you happy, Jura? Honest? Yeah. I haven't been this happy in a long time. I lost myself when I was with Vincent. I never wanted to be one of the ladies who lunched, but it was who I was turning into. I can't wait to start school again and make a difference in the world. And just moving on with my life sounds like a breath of fresh air. <sighs> Too bad she won't see you tomorrow. Come here, it's getting late. He opened his arms, inviting me into him. I nestled my head into him and listened to the rhythmic sound of his heartbeat through his chest. Thank you. For what? Making me feel alive again. Okay, this is heartbreaking, you guys. I can't. The next morning, day one. Oh my God. I woke up the next morning and he was gone, like gone. I wandered the whole boat for him, but he was nowhere to be found. I picked up my clothes and made my way home, the entire way fighting an eerie feeling as if someone was watching me. Wait, is he into his like hunter mode now? Oh my God, this is so crazy, you guys. Ah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Let me know your thoughts. Please don't spoil us in the comments below, but let us know your thoughts and what you think is going to happen. How will he like continue? Is he going to follow through? Is he going to try and then find out she's pregnant? How are they gonna find out she's pregnant? Oh my God, so many questions. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys later. Bye.